Thank you, Mr. Frost. Are we here? There we are. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, I think we can all agree that child trafficking of any kind is completely unacceptable. And the reports about the child trafficking victim in Florida City, Florida, uh, the state I'm from, is truly heartbreaking. And I'm appalled by yesterday's report in the New York Times that shows the administration's lack of action when it knew about these violations as far as child labor laws are concerned. One child is too many. And as someone who comes from an immigrant family, as someone who believes that our policy should be informed by love and compassion, this is something that I hope the administration will work on to ensure it's not a problem in the future and to ensure that no child that has sought refuge in America is being mistreated and that we have a fully uh, well-funded immigration system that's rooted in that love and compassion. These values are what drive my immigration policy. And unfortunately, I see that missing from a lot of the Republican politicians on this committee, in this body, and in my home state of Florida. And I just have to bring up the fact that right now in my state, Governor DeSantis and his buddies in the State House are moving forward a bill HB 1617, that would make it a third degree felony punishable by five years in prison to knowingly transport someone who is undocumented. And I have to just call out the hypocrisy right now. And again, I think that the administration's failure on protecting these children is appalling and it needs to be fixed. But at the same time, we see this hypocrisy and this sudden caring about undocumented children and caring about unaccompanied minors. And my question for you is this. A bill like this that is being supported by the Republican Party in Florida that makes it a third-degree felony to transport an undocumented person, how would that uh, impact your work in being able to place an unaccompanied, uh, unaccompanied child in a safe environment? Thank you, Congressman. Um, our legal authorities, as um, provided by Congress, um, require us to provide for the safety and well-being of children in our care and to release them without undue lay to a vetted sponsor. The bill that you're speaking of, which I, um, I um, uh, can't get into house bills, that's out of my, um, my authority as the ORR director, but what I can say is that these measures make our job more difficult. And when you speak of the compassion of caring for children, I can assure you hundreds of staff across this country, this is their mission. They personally believe in what we are doing and they are doing everything within the authorities and resources provided to provide good care for these children and to release them to appropriately vetted sponsors. Th thank you. And I, I think it just shows that we have this <clears throat> problem we're seeing right now that's showcased here on the committee where we have a party that wants to take this problem that is a problem that needs to be fixed, using it for political points rather than actually wanting to fix the problem. And that's why I point out this bill in my home state of Florida that will continue to make conditions unsafe for unaccompanied children in the state of Florida. <clears throat> and we see legislation like this across the country. I mean, tomorrow, the House Judiciary Committee is marking up a 137-page Republican immigration bill that will continue to cause harm to our immigration system. Um, one section of this bill is going to codify the Trump administration mandate that OR share information about sponsors home with ICE so they can target those sponsors with arrest and threats of deportation. How would this bill um, and the codification of the Trump administration policy affect your ability to place children um, uh, with their parents or legal guardians? Thank you, Congressman. I, I think um, um, steps like that create a chilling impact um, on sponsors um, coming forward. And we know um, child welfare best practice is a child is best placed with their family in a community not a congregate care setting. And how might arresting and threatening folks who come forward to sponsor a child affect the availability of good sponsors? Once again, Congressman, our, our job is to release children as um, safely and quickly as possible. We want them um, released to their parent, to their legal guardian, to their aunts, to their uncles, um, or other sponsors as appropriate. Thank you. You know, politicians might talk about their desire to help protect children, but every time that they've had the opportunity, especially my Republican colleagues in Congress, to pursue policies that would help the most vulnerable, 
we see them use it to score political points as well. Again, the administration's failure to protect these specific children, I read the New York Times uh, probe and article, is alarming. But at the same time, I don't for one second buy the lie that Republicans on this committee in Congress give a damn about actually fixing the problem. Thank you. I yield back.